my goodness. I had that off the whole time. Oh. Okay. Yikes. Okay, everybody watching at home, I'm going to walk away. All right, everybody out there in Mike Belt, ready to rock and roll. Let's talk about it one more time. i got to be even more brief about all of it. I know you can all hear me now. Good night. I feel not the smartest. Okay, let's talk for a brief moment. Number one. That's, I can't believe I did that. I did that last week, too, in the same thing. Okay, so let's, let's just go through it from top to bottom. Cadwells, thanks for joining in. Cohen, thanks for joining in. Brianna, thanks for joining in. Tyler, you're just going to be lazy at home. Um, thank you to everybody who's out there right now who's watching this and who's going to just forgive me. Billy, thanks for this, bud. Let me, you know, thank you for this just wash it and try all over again. Okay, step number one. We will not be having Black Belt class on Wednesday. Instead, Wednesday, we're going to do our first Zoom Stripe testing. I've already sent the link out to everybody who's been participating in classes with me over the last several weeks. You've already earned your ticket to come to the Stripe testing event with me. I sent the link. We'll do that over a Zoom. I have me, and then I've got a screen here where you can all, I can see everybody's stuff, and we can all say hi to each other and just kind of have a moment. Make sure you have all of your equipment, which brings me to my call-outs I was doing a minute ago. If your kickboss equipment is still in this building, <clears throat> Cohen Mann, <clears throat> Brody and Cole Cadwell, <clears throat> another Kurtzky. <clears throat> All my guys whose stuff are still here, come get your stuff. You cannot do your kickboxing striping event on Wednesday without having the proper equipment. So please make sure you have all your equipment ready to go on Wednesday. Uh, I'm here till 6 today, guys. So go here and grab it. We're here till all day tomorrow, too. Just come up here, grab your stuff after schoolers, take it home so you can use it on Wednesday for that. So this is our only day. I'm not going to do the full routine today with the jumping around and all the stuff. I cut my toe really good. You can't see it, but I'm going to be a little lazy today. because. Of, and, and again, it's okay. Our main focus this afternoon is to make sure that all of our combinations are just clean and tight, and we know them, and we're good at them. So on Wednesday, when I go, you know, Justin, show me combo number two. You can just nail it, and you just know exactly what to do with it. That's going to be our work. So just a very, very brief warm-up for us. I'm just going to light stretch and then get right into the combative work with me today, okay? No hopping around today. You guys caught a break. So did my little toe. It's very sad. You can't see it, but it hurts. Okay, let's get started. Bow. And just spread your feet out. Good hip rolls. Roll those hips over. Good hip motions. So sorry, guys. I did not mean to have everything turned off. <laughs> yeah, I was getting into that so hard, Trinity. Man. Yikes. You know the only good news about having my mic turned off for the first part of class is I just got like 35 comments on the page. I never get that many comments per class, so it's going to help boost the class, I guess. <laughs> That's a joke. Ankle roll for me. Other ankle roll. And wrist rolls. Get those good and loosened up. Up and down. Shoulder motion and shoulder motion forward. I cannot believe I have my mic off for that long. Thank you to whoever called in. I don't know who called in, but I appreciate you very much. Palms together. Tops of your hands. Grab your elbow. Bring it over top. Switch arms. Bring it over top. Reach back behind you. And stretch down to your toes. Get toe touch. And spread your feet out. Stretch down. Hang your hands in front. Don't let them touch. Reach back behind you and through the legs. Stay low, move down to the left. Stay low, move down to the right. Stay low, reaching forward again. Uh -huh. Now, go ahead and put your gloves on. Have something to bang on. Let's get ready to go to work, guys. Hmm. All right. I'm going to go with this one today. We'll see how it goes. See if it's a little nicer than the other way around. Okay. Got my gloves here too. So what I'm looking for on Wednesday for you guys is to make sure that we've got all three combos down and memorized. And you know me, the best way for us to get that down is to just spend a few minutes on each combo working through. Now I'm going to work through it slow today. I'm not going to go fast. And just make sure we have it. You make sure you're ready to show me each of your combinations at command. So if I do combo two, you know, Brody, you just know, bang, bang. Bang, bang, you're just ready to rock with it, okay? That's going to be our game plan. So, here we go. 
Setting up for combo one, we know all of combo one, it's just jab, cross, hook, right? We finish up with something else on the finish. So my hand's up, chin is down, combo one, finish, cross. Sets up for our jab, cross, hook, and then return the cross back, right? Let's work that three times. Hands up, and one, two, and three. Remember the focus here, I want to make sure I'm keeping my chin down. Right, chin down, retracting the hands with your four R's. Reach, rotation, retraction, and reset. Don't let your hands get big and crazy. Everything comes back and just works tight under the body. Heels and toes turn, hips turn over, all the stuff. Combo one off the uppercut, okay? So jab, cross, hook. And then the uppercut comes in to finish in the end, okay? Let's work that three times. Ready? One. Two. Three. Okay. The last part of combo one is adding in the round kick. So jab, cross, hook, round. Let's work it one time. One, two, three, four. Okay. Let's just work that through three times in a row. Same as before. Ready? Work it. Bop, 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 bop. One, two, ta, 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 ta. And three. Ta, 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 ta. Good layover. Pick up the knee. Remember, it comes forward in the lift in the round kick, right? Not the other way around. Combo two has that jab cross shell. And then from the shell, we're going to throw our cross, and then we're going to mask our techniques and our run, okay? So look in here. Hands up. Combo two. Start with a jab. This leads to our cross. And she had it. Shell the body to protect. They're going to cross punch at me. Elbows come in, body crunches down. You're going to trace their hand back, right? Throw the cross back, which from there immediately hides the low kick motion. Hook, cross, switch. You'll see that hook cross quite a bit, and the cross hook quite a bit, right? And the combo work that we do is just big hand motions that set us up for something else. So hands up again, jab, cross. Shell, cross, low, hook, cross, switch. Okay, one more time, hands up, jab, cross, shell, cross, low, hook, cross, switch. Okay, combo two, let's do it two or three times. Okay, same bang, shell, and then follow up. And one. Combo two, number two. Go. You notice my front hand there? It's just keeping the bag stable. It wanted to fall back on me. Okay, so hook, cross, switch. Okay, hands up again, and... Three, go. Okay. So that's combo number two, three times. Again, just making sure it's clean, it's prepared, and it's ready. So when you're working through this lines, okay, everything just falls in place like it's supposed to. Let's discuss combo three again. Combo three, I gotta make sure to give you the real combo, not the one I've been adding to it. So we're going to take all the extra and just put in that, just that very, very basic look, okay? So we're going to start with a double jab. Remember, double jabs. Double jab. It's a full reach and extension, full retraction. Don't just roll the circle of the hand. Make sure it pop, pop. Get that full motion out of our front hand. We'll make that punch and that contact. So I'm going to stand a little bit back from my bag, chin down, I'm going to step in one, and then engage on two. Remember the idea why that's so important to be able to throw a double jab or what that work is for. We're, we're helping to fight against anticipation. So we're helping to remove the, th the thought and the idea of there being, you know, him, him being able to read me and so on. If I throw my hand, and he could go, he's going to jab. He's going to jab. Eventually, he's going to learn how to counter that or work against it. 
or by throwing one jab, a jab cross, a double jab. I'm constantly mixing it up. So it constantly keeps him on his toes, my opponent on his toes, and he can't just read me directly. He's going to have to learn instead a different form of a pattern. Put off my front hand. I don't want to make it easy for him, okay? So hands up, chin down again, jab, jab. Okay? Now from here, he's coming back with his cross punch. He's got to get the hit. I'm going to immediately high cover against that cross punch. It's going to slip line right into it. Bang, there's contact. Okay? And then same play. There's my cover, and then chase that cross back. Right? So double jab, cover, cross. Bop, 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 bop. From here, it's just leg chop and high chop. So we're not going to add the hook and the crosses like we were doing uh, last week. There's just extra work for you. From here, it's just drive, switch. So I've got him thinking low as a check low into the leg. The moment he's like, oh, that's my leg. There's my high switch. Just to finish it. Okay? So I'm mixing up that level. Kicking low, kicking high, kicking on the right, kicking on the left, and making my opponent have to again guess at exactly what's happening, you know, in the fight. So again, setting it up, jab, jab, shell, cross, low, switch. Nothing fancy. Okay? Nothing fancy. So again, ready, hands up, chin down, bang, bang, boom, bow, bop, bow. Just flow right into it. One more time. Double jab. Ha, ha. Cover. Cross. Low. High. If you added that cross hook, I wouldn't mind. Okay. It just gives it extra flow better. So, let's review one more time. And these are the things that you need for Wednesday. Jab. Cross. Hook. Cross. Jab. Cross, hook, uppercut, jab, cross, hook, round. We also need jab, cross, shell, cross, low, hook, cross, switch, high. We also need double jab, cover, cross, low, switch, high. And nail them all. Memorized and clean and ready to go. So, We've got that down. That's our look that I want for Wednesday. Have it all ready, guys. Practice the matrix memorized. So if I ask you for it, you know that's what they give me. Now I want to break off and give you more of that 21 punch combo that I promised you guys we'd finish up last week. So this is our only day we're going to knock out some classwork today. Make sure we have that down ready to go for just extra work. Okay, bonus points, bonus points. If you remember what we left off last week on 21 punch combo. The idea, and this is not something you test on, it's just extra for you guys at home to work and build. It's a great challenge on mitts, as well as just memorizing the combo by itself. We have two main focuses here. Focus one, proper engagement with the front and back foot. Remember, my front hand punches, my front foot steps. If my back foot, my back hand punches, my back foot pivots. And this is gonna be a full truth, so I'm constantly forward motion through a lot of this combination. The second part we're gonna work on is flow. And that means following your four R's, reach, rotation, retraction, and reset, to allow yourself to flow, and there's no immediate pauses with our work, okay? So, everybody got it? All right. Um, Cadwells, refresh your page if it went black on you guys. I've got a regular screen here, so I'm still seeing live feed. Um, if you're having a hard time seeing me, click on refresh and see if the screen comes back. There's no black on my end, guys. Okay, so 21 punch combo. Hands up, ready? And double jab. Cross. Double hook, right? Front foot, start low, play high, cross. Now we had our bait work, right? I swing to the front side, so I'm going to bait away to my front side. Come back underneath so I can cross, hook, cross. He swings the other way, bait away to come back underneath so I can then hook, cross, hook. That was all from last week, right? So one more time, I'll change angles. Just reviewing last week's work. Jab, jab, cross. Hook, hook, cross. Fake left to bait right. Cross, hook, cross. Slip right to weave left. Hook, cross, hook. 
Now we have what we call an uppercut combo from the backhand. Uppercut right, hook left, cross right, uppercut front. So that looks like up, hook, cross, up. Okay, adding that portion in. Up, hook, cross, up. Almost done here. Cross, hook, cross, hook, and then three more techniques. Cross right, pull back, you gotta cross right a second time. And then we're gonna finish with an elbow. Elbow on the finish. So it's gonna look like cross, cross, elbow. Here's what your whole 21 punch combo looks like from start to finish. I'm gonna use my buddy here, just gonna help as a reference tool. So double jab cross, double hook cross, bait and feed, cross, hook, cross, bait and feed, hook, cross, hook, uppercut, hook, cross, uppercut, cross, hook, Cross, cross, elbow. Now, keep in mind, I have a stationary target. The purpose here is to make sure everything's moving forward when I work my front hand. Again, just an extra challenge for you guys at home working through this material. I'll see you all Wednesday. I'm a little excited about getting to see you guys face to face again. So log into that Zoom with me. If you have any questions, respond to the email I sent out to you guys and uh, let me know how things are going with it. You may have to download the Zoom app and log in. You should be able to just click on the link and go right to it. Make, if you want to do it with a tablet, that would probably be best for you guys. Um, or your laptop with a camera. Just something where you can see me and I can see you and you're back and forth. And we're going to see how this works out. Okay, make sure you're in a safe space with the people. And that uh, it's just you and I. And above all, have your equipment. So if your equipment is still up here in this building, it's going to do you no good on Wednesday. So you now have a time limit. Come get your stuff. You know who you are. Thanks, guys, for all your work and your time today. I appreciate you all very much. I'm looking forward to Wednesday. Okay, feet together and bow. Enjoy the rest of your day. And, uh, man, practice. Go get your stuff.